you get to watch Ladybug grow up. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Modeling clay turns from a ball into a real magic creature. Wami, welcome to our world. Draw blue eyes. Now we're flying. The spring folded and magic created a girl. That's Marinette. Kwame is meeting the baby for the first time. You have superpowers. Uh -huh. The baby is peacefully sleeping, and Kwame pretended she was an alarm clock. Hello, wake up! You need to give the baby her chair. Tiki made a whole pyramid. Now Marinette can get out of her crib. <laughs> she immediately went looking for sweets. <laughs> the baby can't reach it. But Tiki is already here. <laughs> How did you get that? I left them on top. Oh, you little trickster. Baby LOL is trying to get a paint bottle. Uh -huh. Wow, when did you dye your hair? Marinette grew a bit. We recognize her eyes. <laughs> a needle and thread made overalls. Add spots. We made antennas out of pipe cleaner. <laughs> Why do I like ladybugs so much? Hmm? Wanna play hide and seek? <laughs> Great idea. I'll leave. She counted to 10 while all her friends hid. Hmm. Shh, she's coming. Oh, here you are. Mary was immediately found. But where did Marinette go? We looked everywhere. Look, there is something red behind the bed. But it's just fabric. Hmm, there is a ladybug on the couch. It means Marinette must be nearby. Here I am. Wow, you're so good at hiding. That was so cool. Let's play more. A new doll is changing her look. Tiki found some magic red earrings. Marinette, take them. Now they're yours. After putting them on, she felt a strange power. Her transformation started. A mask appeared on her eyes, and her dress got replaced with a super heroine suit. A tiny yo-yo went inside the basket and came out as a cool device. Now Ladybug and her yo-yo are inseparable. Uh-oh, a huge baby is attacking Paris. What are you doing here, baby? Did you get lost? Ladybug went to save the city. Talking to the baby didn't help. These must be because of Hawk Moth. That's okay, my yo-yo can handle it. Bam! And the baby fell on the ground. Akuma flew out, freeing the baby from evil magic. Ladybug neutralized to the butterfly. Paris and the baby are safe. <laughs> we need a frame from a pencil sharpener. Whoa, it changed its look. Outline it on foam paper. Seal the bottom. Detach a couple of black turbines. The wire turned into a spring. Add buttons. This special backpack is ready for flying in the sky. Ladybug is eating a tasty croissant. A cat climbed up a tree. A dog is bothering her. The poor thing hid in the branches, meowing. Hey, baby, you're being too loud. Ladybug calmed the dog down and turned around. Oh, you made all the cats in the area climb trees. Luckily, I have a special backpack. Ladybug turned on her fans and flew up. Now the kitties are safe. Welcome home. No one will hurt you. Ladybug grew up. Yeah, I'm a teenager now. Which outfit would you like, fashionista? Maybe a dress? It's not my style. It's too cute. Would you like a lilac one? <laughs> no way. The bear agreed to share a bow. Make a top out of it. A polka dot ribbon turns into a puffy mini skirt. The dress really suits her. Make a biker jacket out of artificial leather pieces. Add a collar and a belt with a buckle. A chain is a cool accessory. Our little girl is all grown up. <laughs> Tie ribbons on legs. 
and white sneakers are a gift from Lalalu. Take a backpack. You can even take it to college. Marinette is coming to college on a vintage moped. She's trying to hide that she has a crush on Adrian. Hey, Marinette! Yes? What happened? I just wanted to ask how you are. Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I love your jacket. Girls, is Adrian here? Here he is. Oh, he looks handsome, as always. Oh, uh, he's nothing special. <laughs> Cut pieces out using a template and join them to make a box. Add attachments so the lid won't get lost. Add polka dot print. A ladybug crawled right where the clasp is. There is a compartment for everything. It's easy to put all the makeup and not forget anything. Marinette is texting Adrian. Oh, I can't believe he invited me on a date. Oh, I need to put on makeup. I'm so anxious. Don't worry, I'm an expert in this. Okay, just remove this. We can use it. Start with lipstick. Hmm. Thanks, Tiki. I didn't know you were good at makeup. Aquami has all kinds of talents. <laughs> Adrian was waiting for Marinette in a cafe. Plague found them a comfortable spot. Oh, uh, take this bouquet. Thanks. That's such a nice surprise. You look beautiful. This <laughs> is real love. <laughs> After some time, Adrian invited the girl to the center of Paris. He prepared a surprise for her. He proposed to Marinette. Wow! I will! I will! I will! We need to get to a bridal salon. The best designer in Paris agreed to make us a dress. Look at these fabrics. We have a design. Look, what do you think? Wow! Oh, it's beautiful. Now choose ribbons. Hmm? Red ones. A tulle band decorated the underskirt and the slit on the back of the dress. Ladybugs landed on the skirt. Secure the comb and add it to the hair. What a beautiful bride! I can't believe it. It's a perfect look. Thanks, you're a genius. Adrian is so nervous. He's already standing in front of the altar waiting for his bride. There is a trail of ladybugs behind Marinette. The bride looks perfect. She puts one of the ladybugs on Adrian's chest. The officiant is making a speech. Yes! The couple said, I do. Yes! Kwame helps them exchange rings. Yeah! Congratulations to the newlyweds. We hope you live happily ever after. Flag got us some light clay, and he helped roll out the dough. Put it in layers. Mmm, this cake will be tasty. Cover a first layer with icing. It's dedicated to Adrian. The second layer with polka dots represents Marinette. And the third layer is white with glittery syrup. Our chefs worked really hard on the cake. The wedding ceremony ended with eating the cake. Kwame are showering the newlyweds with confetti. Adrian is cutting the cake. Everyone gets a piece. The guy shared his layer with Tiki. And Marinette gave Plag a piece of red cake with polka dots. Let their family life be as sweet as the cake. <laughs> <laughs> the couple had two children. The babies look just like Marinette and Adrian. Marinette is waiting for her husband to bring groceries. Adrian took care of lunch. Hello, did you miss me? Or were you waiting for me? Of course. Oh, my little babies. They're watching the news as a family. What? Is Godzilla attacking the city? What? Well, let's put the sweets aside. Honey, will you watch the kids for a couple of hours? I'll be back soon. Uh -huh. Did you get your yo-yo? It's always with me. Be careful. Oh, superheroes are such superheroes. Godzilla is out of control. Just look, he's crashing through the city streets. The car got damaged. The ladybug is getting closer. Paris is under her protection. Lalalu is celebrating today. Our favorite <laughs> couple got engaged. 
Fate brought them together. Yes. She said yes. Now they need to prepare for their wedding. The best wedding salon of Lala Town is ready to go. Yes. Hello, do you have something for me? Hmm. Let's look at some designs. I have an idea. <laughs> we'll need the help of Lalalu. Wow. A hairstyle like this is no good. I'll undo my ponytails. Try on a wig base. <laughs> undo blue ribbons to make threads. But I can't see anything. <sighs> Make two ponytails. <laughs> Let's keep working. Make a circle for the skirt. Let's try it on. Thank you. We need to add colorful details. How about a bright belt? Great. <laughs> Make ruching out of a lacy ribbon. It's so elegant. <laughs> And the belt is covered in black beads. <laughs> Make a flower wreath out of red and black berries. Wow, this is a perfect dress. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful skirt. Wow, perfect shoes. Thank you. And the flower crown is so pretty. Oh, and beautiful. <laughs> Girls, give me my Lala phone. I'll call Adrian. I'm ready. How are you doing? Did you find a tuxedo? Hmm. Hello, honey. I haven't found anything yet. Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Why are you so sad? Flag, what should I do? I haven't found a tuxedo yet, and my wedding is any day now. Hmm. We'll come up with something. Lalalu will help us with it. Well, let's take your measurements. Mm. Wow, I'm so big. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Lalalu will create a perfect suit. Here I go. Snap. Make two templates. Take white fabric. Scissors, get to work. The front part and the back join to make a perfect shirt. Adrian, it's time to change. Uh-huh. Take off the old outfit. It's time for a new one. Attach a collar. Oh, these jeans are worn out. But it's okay, fabrics will come in handy. The pieces are ready. Perfect pants. Put on a green vest. What about buttons? Hey. Of course, and we need a bow tie. <laughs> stomp, stomp. We have shoes. Add a jacket. Yeah. An elegant hat completes the look. Plague will be here any minute. Here I am. Look what I brought. Go change. Uh huh. Meanwhile, Plague is reading comics. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? Wow, you look amazing. Here, decorate the hat with a ribbon. Okay. Oh, the shoes are a little small. <sighs> Let's swap. Great, now the look is perfect. Tiki and Plague came to the best bakery. The wedding cake should be perfect. Hello. Hi. What would you like? Hmm? We need a nice wedding cake. We'll be happy to bake it for you. <laughs> okay. Make dough. Roll it. It's gonna be ready soon. Cut a couple of circles out of styrofoam. Here are the pieces we need. The first layer is ready. And here are the two top ones. Cream cheese frosting is dripping down the cake. Perfect. Paint half of the cake black. The groom and the bride are going to love it. Shape folds of thin foam paper. Attach pearly beads. Add drips of hot glue to the dark half. and ladybugs came to the bride's part of the cake. Wow. Boom. Remove the wheels from an old car. Install a support. We 
here, kitty kitty. Oh, <laughs> he left neon paw prints. That's exactly what we needed. Marinette and Adrian love what our pastry chefs did. But when their friends came to pick up the cake, they were shocked. <gasps> the size was too small for the amount of guests. Oh no! That's okay, we'll fix it. Our beautiful bakery is the best for a reason. <laughs> is that enough? Hmm. Wow, real magic, thanks. <laughs> Come to our friend's wedding. <laughs> We'd love to. <laughs> the groom is starting to get nervous. What if something goes wrong? Uh, calm down, buddy. Uh, I'm so scared. <sighs> How do we calm Adrian down and not ruin the wedding? Mm, catnip will help. Flag uses his magic. Snap. The plant grew. Nice. Ready. Take it. Oh, I feel much better. Patience, patience. Water the plant. Wow, that was fast. Take a couple of sprigs. Oh, lavender. Great idea. Make a mini bouquet. Decorate with pearls. Complete the boutonniere with pins. Wow! Let's all go to the venue. Adrian is calm now. All the guests are here. Yeah, the bride and groom. Congratulations to the newlyweds. <laughs> Everyone is in a great mood. Congrats, Adrian and Marinette. <laughs> but is someone trying to ruin the ceremony? Remove the old makeup. Makeup is in lilac shades. Make hair out of two shades of wool. Wow. Twisty ponytails appeared. Not inviting stormy weather was a mistake. Get some fabric. Make a pair of pant legs. The pants are ready. Complete the outfit with a turtleneck. Draw white gloves. Decorate the outfit with zippers. A lilac circle with an opening in the center will turn into a cone skirt. Texture appeared. There is a purple mask on her face. You better watch out, newlyweds. All the guests are happy, except one lady. <laughs> Who's that? No one invited her. The wedding is going great. <laughs> and the cake is a masterpiece. <laughs> the friends are waiting. The bride is about to throw the bouquet. Who's gonna get married next? Hmm. Oh no, to make things worse, Stormy Weather got hit in the head with flowers. Uh, my head. A bouquet? Ooh, just you wait. Ah, stormy weather, run! <laughs> oh no. Marinette and Adrian have to transform to fight the uninvited guest. This time, they need to save the wedding ceremony. Get her, come on, stormy weather. Okay, I'm in a good mood today. No one will suffer, but no one will get a dessert. <laughs> oh no. Not the cake. <laughs> Say goodbye. What should we do? It's okay. The cake isn't very beautiful, but still tasty. <laughs> Have some. <laughs> the guests were happy. Years later, their family grew. The first baby has blue hair like his mom. He is wearing blue pants, a shirt, and a t-shirt with polka dots. He is so handsome. His sister is blonde. She's a little troublemaker. The girl takes after her dad, and the boy takes after his mom. Tiki is babysitting them. Yes. 
She's tried everything to calm the babies down. She was reading fairy tales to them and rocking them. <sighs> but it was all for nothing. The kids were being even louder. Oh, I'm exhausted. They are gonna destroy the house. Flag came to help. Well, babies, let Tiki rest. I'll give you a ride. It's time to play. Let's fly. Whee! <laughs> Are you tired now? Yes. Yeah, it's time to sleep. <laughs> Thanks, but it's not gonna last for long. We need a rocking center. I'll order it now. Okay. Use plastic containers. A foam rubber sponge will turn into mattresses. A circle and one more. Elastic velvet will serve as a cover. Each baby will get his own color. Cover the support with felt. A paw print appeared in the center. Ladybug and Cat Noir are gonna love it. I have a delivery for you. Wow, that was fast. Thanks, here's the money. <laughs> The babies love their rocking centers. Now the babies are asleep. Nothing will disturb their sweet dreams. I love this. Where's her head? <laughs> That's better. Now you're wearing a black outfit. <laughs> That's the belt. There's a belt on her neck. Can we use the magic staff for that? Now they're green. Perfect. And fake eyelashes. Kitty looks lovely. Cut her yellow fur. Add a pair of ears. Kitty Noir is ready to fight crime. Ladybug and Cat Noir are the kitty's parents. Hi. Vivian is enjoying her book. But Kitty Noir Florette can't sit still. Hey! <laughs> She's running off to bother the geese. Na, 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 na. Oops! <gasps> but she runs into a dog. Ugh! How do I get away? Wait! He just wanted to play. Aww. Florette rides in on the dog. Her parents were shocked. We knew our daughter was special, but she's not exactly well behaved. <laughs> <laughs> Let's paint the second doll's eyes blue. And smile. Brush her blue hair. Give her a new wig. Can we cut it and style it? Little Ladybug has two neat pigtails. Let's make a dress. Try it on. And decorate it with polka dots. Add lace sleeves and shoulder pads. Add a belt with a ladybug. So cute! Vivian is relaxed. And she looks uh -huh. cute. She's nothing like her sister. She's a straight A student. She loves studying. But... Florette can't relate. She's always trying to mess up Vivian's experiments. <laughs> Let's see the new specimens and note my findings. While Vivian is distracted with the microscope, her sister steals her notebook. <laughs> hey, give it back. Just try and take it. A pillow fight will distract her for sure. Time to take a break. I'll meditate, then she'll leave me alone. It worked! Vivian is ignoring Florette now. Oh, that's boring. <sighs> Phew, I can finally study! She puts her glasses on and gets back into it. Cut paper straws. Ready to paint? Let's go! Now we have a lot of cans of spray paint. Attach labels. Turn a plastic toy into a basket with neon parts. Done! 
Kitty Noir is looking for the right fence to spray paint. Oh, my mom's poster! Jackpot! I'll just add a little detail. <laughs> it's perfect! Uh-oh. I hear someone coming. Gotta go! Ladybug herself scares off the street <gasps> artist. Stop, criminal! Hmm. I can never catch those guys. Take the lid from a plastic container. Paint the edges red. What you got there, Vivian? Lots of pictures! Let's organize. This goes here. This goes there. I'll just hang up the strings. Done! Vivian has a lot of ideas for how to make the world a better place. We're all connected. Good deeds lead to more goodness in the world. Wow! I'll show my mom. While Vivian is away, Florette decides to get involved and ruin her hard work. <laughs> That's better. Mom, look what I made. Are you sure those are good deeds? Wait, that's not my plan. Somebody messed it up. It must be my sister. <laughs> my prank worked. Need some light clay. Make drops. Wrap the handle and joint in embroidery thread. One maraca has paw prints and the other has polka dots. We know which is whose. <laughs> Grandma is trying to get some rest, but her pets won't leave her alone. Kitties, please be quiet. My ears hurt. Grandma, check out our maracas. Oh, no. Don't worry, they're actually relaxing. The noise really is soothing. Grandma falls asleep, but then a loud noise makes the cats jump. Who made that noise? Oh. Spray paint them. Perfect. Trace a circle. Wrap it in plastic. Awesome. A kick drum. There's a couple smaller ones on top. The wire frame will hold the whole set. And we have drumsticks ready to go. Kitty Noir can't ever sit still. She loves listening to loud music. She brought over some speakers. Let's go! Stop it! We're listening to our maracas tonight. I just help Grandma relax. Yeah, right. As soon as Vivian is distracted, there's that banging again. Vivian gets mad and throws the maracas at her sister. You missed, ha ha ha. Maybe next time. <sighs> Kia! The hit split these wood pieces up. Make a tripod. And add a stand. What should we draw on? We'll need a few different canvases. Wrap them in ribbon. Perfect. We need a paint set too. Use a palette and lots of colors. It comes with a brush. Hi, kids. Are you ready? Pick an easel. We're starting a new unit today. Hello, Mrs. Clark. I got sent to your class. Okay, go ahead, choose some paints. You'll be painting each other. Vivian's masterpiece is done in a flash. Whoa, that looks great. So accurate. Look, I painted my sister too. Hmm, it's very interesting. <laughs> Combine black and white clay to make a gray mouse with a tail. And big ears. Aww. Attach the toy to a stick. Quick, catch it. Time to prank Florette. Everyone knows cats love mice. I'll make her run. Just try and catch it. But Kitty Noir catches the mouse. Oh, I see. Little Ladybug was controlling it. 
I'm gonna catch you! What a chase! Whew! The cat can play for now. Vivian gave us her footprints. Combine two foam paper pieces to make boots. Now we can lace them up. Beads can be the wheels. The roller skates have rhinestones on them. This is going to be so fun. Everyone's having a great time on the playground, laughing and playing together. <laughs> hey guys, look, I got new skates. Whoa, cool. Just wait till you see me skating. Move, let me show you how it's done. She's doing a great job. Cool! Awesome! Is that all you can do? Ha! Give them to me and I'll show you what a real pro looks like. Looks scary. Ouch! So close. Are you okay? I don't need help. Florette stomps away in her skates. Poor thing. Combine an eyeshadow palette and an old mascara to make a black claw sharpener. Add cat paws. Wrap twine around the main column. After the skating failure, Kitty Noir doesn't feel like a superhero at all. She needs to de-stress. That's what this claw sharpener is for. Scritch, scratch, shoo. She got all her rage out. And her nails are sharp. It's perfect. I need to prank her back. I swear on my ears, this is gonna be a good one. <laughs>